flips over at Beatrix. Uh, today we're going to be going behind the closure. It's a pattern that I believe should be in everybody's fly box. It's probably the best saltwater pattern other than the Wooly Booger and Bob Woods Harry Carrier that I have ever fished. Uh, I have here um, several and different materials and a couple different ways to tie them. Um, first on a, let's go start with first on a closure, uh, the eye. I like to use a dumbbell eye, preferably one that has a pupil on it or an eye in it. Uh, for a hook, there's a few different hooks that you can use. Um, <clears throat> the ones I tie with, a Daiichi 2546 size 6 and 4. Uh, for a Gamagatsu, which is a preferred hook, the SC15 in a size 2. Size 2 seems a little big, but when you compare it to a Daiichi, the Daiichi 2546, they're about the same. Um, the Gamagatsu is just a little thinner and it does less damage to the fish for saltwater hook. For a freshwater hook, the Daiichi uh, 2450 is probably the best hook for a clouser. Okay, starting with materials. Um, a clouser minnow can be tied out of any material that's longer than two inches. Uh, sitting here, this one's synthetic. This is angel hair and slinky fiber. Uh, these two are marabou, standard, olive and white, uh, and a peach. Uh, let's go fox fur. Uh, fox fur is a great clouser. There's this version and there's also this style which is a little longer body. This is the Gamagatsu SP11 3LHL or 3L3H on a size 8. It's just a longer shank body with some of the fox fur dubbing I dubbed on the body. Uh, you know we got bucktail, we got Squirrel, uh, Crafter, another great one. I love using Crafter because it's long. Also, when you're doing a longer style clouser for a stinger for salmon, works great. Uh, here's a couple that are blended. Uh, blended marabou, you know, ginger and rust, uh, chartreuse and olive. This one, this is an olive over white, but it also has a weed guard on it. Something smart to have sometimes. It's kind of gunky out there. So pretty much anything you can think of that's longer than two inches, you can make a clouser out of. Um, it's a pretty easy fly to tie. I mean, my, my I myself, I'll take a box of hundred when I'm per, when I'm per, you know tying for production, and I'll just tie the eye to the hook, get them all set, and then once that's done, two dozen an hour. I mean, it, it's a fast fly, and it's fairly inexpensive. <coughs> That's the nice thing about this fly. It, it is inexpensive. And there's so many different ways and color combinations you can come up with that you could fill a fly box, I have, <laughs> with disc closures. So I'm going to get to the vise and we'll show you how to tie one. Alright, so here we're going to get started. This one, I'm just doing them on a 2546 number 6. Uh, fairly standard. As far as sizes, these are these ones I'm showing you predominantly for the salt water. Um, the colors may not be, but like hook style and stuff like that, yeah. So I've got the eye on there already. We'll start with the real simple one, which is just a basic white olive over white clouser. Take our marabou, measure it. I have a spot on my vise I'll bring it to to act as my measuring unit. And we'll just do a couple wraps there, pull it over the eye, a couple wraps there. Now the thing to remember with clouser is when you're starting off, you're basically tying it upside down. And we'll just cover this up. That, and then I'll flip it over and tie in the top half. Just same thing again. Make your measurement. There's that thing, and we'll trim that. And then just tie it down and cover it.
Sometimes you get a couple friends that want to stick up and say hi. <laughs> now the second part of this. Um, clouds your minnows. Generally I put a flash in them. There's many different types of flash out there. You can use whatever you want. Um, for these I just use Mirage because you can get lots of it in a pack and it lasts a long time. It has a lot of flies. Basically for this I take a strand, cut it in half, and that'll get you about three flies on this size, and I'll V it, and then just put one on each side. Other flashes you can use, you know, you can, before you put on the top layer, you can put in crystal flash, you can put in angel hair, pretty much whatever you want. And we'll just polish that off. Really clean. Whoop, turn the vice. And we'll just do a little wood finish. And that's that one. Simple, all over white closure. Okay, here's the next one. Pretty much the same thing. I'm going to use Maribu for the, these two demonstrations. And I use Maribu because it's cheap. You can it lasts a while. It's not too bad. This one is one I fish a lot. Um, we got the color combination from a sand lance that we found that bumped into us and we brought it home and looked at it. And it literally has a chartreuse underbelly. So the color combination with this one is chartreuse, olive, and brown. So you don't have to just use two colors. You can stack as many colors as you want on there. We have a few for salmon that are, you know, four or five different stack colors. Just thin, minute layers amount of them. So, there's chartreuse, olive, and this is pretty much just to show you how fast these things can get. Plus a good color combo to use in the salt water. I've also caught bass in this color too. And then we'll just do a small amount of brown. And just cover the head nice and clean. And again, I'm going to use a mirage for the flash. Showing you how to make a closure, and the best thing to do is just go out, get some material that you use a lot, whether it's marabou, craft fur, whatever, and just use it and practice. And before you know it, you'll have five or six dozen closures in your box. So, I'm Thomas from Beachman, and have fun time.